Hello everyone, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. Today I'm excited to show you the Navigate trailer by Intec. Now this is part of their new OVR line and it is aluminum welded cage frame and all the modern styling we've seen in all their other products. This one really stands out because it has a walk around bed tons of storage and a nice spacious dry bath. This trailer is 27 feet, five inches long. It weighs 6,000 pounds and it is ready for your next adventure. Remember, features and options can always change. So be sure to check the trailer that you're looking at. It may have some differences from the one I'm about to show you. Check out the video description below if you wanna see all the pricing and specs on this great trailer. There is so much to see here. Let's go inside and get started. When you walk in, you know you're in an Intec because the design, the quality, it is unmistakable. This trailer features an L-shaped sofa at the back it's comfortable, great to lounge in, windows on all three sides, and of course the storage up above. Let's start there and take a look. So up here in these storage cabinets, it's a magnetic catch, and you see that each compartment is separate. It's about eight inches deep, and you have five cabinets around the top of it. That's a lot of storage right there. To the right at the entrance door, there is a countertop with two cubbies underneath and of course one 10 plug and a USB. Table here that can be taken out and I love this space without the table. If you don't need it, it just makes this feel like a large living space. Let's move up, take a look at the rest of the storage because at the other end of the sofa, we have drawers, the television, and a cubby up above. The open storage up above has the blue light in it. Again, another signature Intec feature. The speakers and the Bluetooth stereo in between. Of course, there are speakers here. There are also speakers in the bedroom, so you have two different zones. I appreciate the countertop here. So useful either for prepping for the kitchen or keeping a coffee pot or anything else you'd like to keep out during the day. Nice TV here, the 110 plug and the USB ports. You'll find that on almost every countertop space. The drawers underneath are always great storage. It looks like there's four. Let me show you the top one, again about three inches deep, and the other two are the same size but the bottom one isn't actually a drawer. It is a nice way for Intec to give you a way to look inside and get to some of the plumbing, the low point drains, and some of the access that will be really handy when draining the tanks or doing any kind of repairs or maintenance that's needed. Gives you a nice clean look right here. Before we move on, I want to tell you about one of the only two options that are available on this trailer. This trailer has the option for an off-grid package, which includes 400 watts of solar on the roof, and these are glass panels, not the flex panels, so they're much more durable, and that connects to an MPPT charge controller that feeds two lithium batteries. Those lithium batteries are 100 amp hours, that's 200 amp hour batteries that are connected to a 2000 watt inverter. Now, if that all sounds like Greek to you, the important part to know is that will power this entire trailer and run everything on it except for the air conditioner if you're off the grid and not plugged into shore power. That's amazing. These batteries are located underneath the sofa. If you don't choose to have the off-grid package, you can have a regular wet cell battery there, and there is some space to upgrade later. So that off-grid package is available as an option. The other option, it's the outside kitchen that I'm gonna show you in just a few minutes. 
Next to the drawers is another amazing storage space. Look at this cupboard. It is two feet wide and over two feet deep, four shelves in it. So this could be a pantry, it could store clothing, just about anything. Another great space here. Now across from that is the 10 cubic foot refrigerator. The reason that you can have such a large refrigerator in this space is because it's a 12 volt compressor refrigerator. If you are not familiar with them, they are so quiet, so efficient, they run strictly on the battery, but don't worry. It is run by a compressor, just like the refrigerator at home. It is gonna cool down in about two hours and use a fraction of the 12 volt that a standard RV refrigerator would. It is a great feature and looks great and gives you tons of refrigerator space. Up above, you've got another open cabinet with the signature blue light. And next to that, the glass top stove. This is gonna act as counter space if you're not using it, but when you're ready to cook, just lift it up. You have two burners, the iron grid on the top, and of course, once it cools down, just lift it up and you are back to a flat counter space. Up on the left is the switch for this light right above you, which gives you really good cooking light right here. And the controls for the power fan right in the middle of this area. That's great for when you're cooking, but it's also good for moving air when you're lounging back here on the sofa. Hooks right here and a monitor panel on the top left. Now that monitor panel is going to tell you how full your fresh gray and black tanks are. This trailer has a 44 gallon fresh water tank, 39 gray, 39 black, so plenty of tank space here. It also is the switches for your tank heaters and your line heaters. Of course, when you're traveling in freezing weather, that's gonna keep everything from freezing underneath your trailer. You will also have your water heater switch, gas and electric, and your water pump switch, all right there in one place. I love this large farmhouse sink big rectangular sink. It's about eight inches deep and a high spout here with a sprayer. Really nice feature. Again, feels very modern, very residential. And I like to point out that it moves out of the way so you can work with a full sink if you need to do dishes, fill a large pot. More storage underneath here. The microwave, a drawer underneath. And this drawer is again, six inches deep. So a lot of great space here. And then a full open space under the sink. This could be converted to shelves, cubbies, whatever you need. One more storage space right up here. These are magnetic doors, so you have to give them a good pull, but then they stay open so you don't have to worry about that cabinet door coming closed. Another one right over here. Great storage space in this kitchen. It's amazing. All right, let's close those. One more thing I wanna point out here is that every window has a nice clean blackout shade that just pulls down. And when you're done, roll it right back up again. At the end of this cabinet, is more controls. Let's show you that before we move on. Right over here, you will see the light switch for the main cabin as you move in. Almost every section of lights is gonna have two switches, so it's convenient to turn it off wherever you are in the trailer. So this one has the main one, and then the second one is gonna be the blue lights in the cubbies. The next controls down here for the awning. Now those awning controls are really nice because they're one touch. You touch it, the awning goes out, touch it, it comes in, and you do have a stop button in case you wanna stop it somewhere along the way. There are switches for the lights. There's even a switch that will close the awning and turn the light out all at the same time. I don't know, just one of those nice conveniences. Above that, a 110 plug, always convenient in the kitchen. Let's head back and take a look at the bathroom and the shower. On this side, 
You will see the toilet area with the kitchen sink. It does have a counter running on both sides of it. Now it's not a really wide counter, but that gives you a whole lot of move around room and plenty of space to put whatever you need sitting on the counter in the bathroom. There are two long compartments there underneath, so lots of storage there, not to mention the cabinet at the top, the towel bar, and a cabinet underneath the sink. Really great storage for such a nice space. I also like the fact that there is a big mirror on this wall. It not only makes the space feel more open, but you have a nice mirror in the bathroom when you need it. All right, let's take a look at the shower. The first thing I notice about this is that it is a solid sealed compartment door. Now what that means is that it has a seal all the way around, so it's watertight. There is no need for that annoying shower curtain that always sticks to you in the shower. It's a nice open space. It's six foot two inches tall in the shower. You do have a hanging bag on the back that's going to have compartments for soap and anything else that you need to keep in that shower with you. And the shower head is adjustable to the right height. You do have a fan in there, of course, with LED light, so it's nice and bright. The mirror on the door, it's always handy. All right. Now we get to go to my favorite part of this trailer, which is the walk around bed in the front. Let's go. The walk around queen bed is just such a nice feature in the front of this trailer. The storage across the top here, gives you three compartments. They're about five inches deep on the base. It is angled, but there is always smaller items you can keep up there. There's cabinets on both sides with shelves, and below that, a 110 plug and the USBs on both sides. Nice open counter space here with a drawer. So really nice setup on both sides of the bed, and the only difference is that this side has the bedroom light switch. There is another one right at the door so you can turn it on when you come in, turn it off when you're about to roll over and go to sleep. Windows on both sides so it feels very light in here. There is a power fan in the roof and so if you open these windows you not only get that cross breeze but with that fan going you can really make it very comfortable in here if you don't want to run the air conditioner. A few more features on this wall I want to point out for you. Each side of the bed is going to have this nice open compartment with the blue light and then one large space here with two doors that's going to give you a little more high storage for you. The TV right here on the wall and of course it is on a swing arm so you can pull it out and angle it where it works for you. The barn door is one of my favorite pieces of this trailer because not only does it look great but it easily slides into place to give you a solid bedroom door. Now on this side, we have the controls for the power fan on the ceiling we talked about, the air conditioner and furnace controls, and below that, the bedroom lights that you can turn on when you walk in, the cabinet lights, the blue lights on the sides, and here is the main lights behind me. Again, every main section of lights here has two switches so that you can operate them regardless of where you are in the trailer. One last thing, we do have more storage right here on this side. Open cubby at the top and hanging space right here. And below that, two more open storage spaces. As you can see, there is storage on every side of this bedroom, but there is additional storage underneath the bed. Last but not least, there is a beautiful picture window above you. Great for seeing the stars, but when you don't want that sun to wake you up, there is a blackout shade that pulls down, just like the rest of the windows in this trailer. I tell you, there is so many great design features in here. This might be the trailer you've been looking for. Let's go outside and take a look at the features out there.
The outside of this trailer not only looks great, but it is a wonderfully functional space. It's got an 18 foot awning. Now this awning comes out and as I showed you inside, it is a one touch control, but when it comes out, there's no arms on the side to get in your way. It comes out 10 feet, lights up the space, great for outdoor camping. I wanna show you this right here because this starts off your kitchen area. There is a compartment here, light switch here to light it up with that nice blue light three hangers, but a great space to put some of the things that you might use in your outdoor kitchen. And the door can kind of be a tray if you need a little extra counter space. Now the counter that attaches right here on the buttons is in your pull-out kitchen. So let's open this up. It has a magnet catch at the top. And push the lever and your outdoor kitchen slides right out. The Suburban Griddle is mounted on the countertop on the end. Now next to that is the 12 volt cooler and the countertop that mounts on the side of the trailer right here is stored on the top when you're traveling. Your kitchen area, counter space here and a little more storage I showed you behind that. One more thing, there is storage underneath right here so you can keep trays, maybe some food items right here underneath. When you're ready to travel, Push the red lever, slide it right back in, and close the compartment. Super easy. Let's look at the front of this trailer. Diamond plate, of course, on the front to protect it from any rocks. This is the compartment for your LP. Two tanks, very accessible, easy to get to. Gas props on this door so it stays open hands-free and of course the automatic switch over. In front, the electric jack, and this is a good place to point out the aluminum frame because you can easily see the tongue with the aluminum frame. It is not just aluminum wall studs. This entire trailer is a cage frame welded into one piece. That just adds so much strength and durability down the road. Now on this other side, you have more storage right here. This is a long compartment. It is about three and a half feet deep. So you can fit a lot of lawn chairs, things like that in here. And let's look under here. This is your sewer hose storage. And just under that is the sewer hookup. Right above it on the frame, you'll see the handles for the gray and the black tank dump. This trailer has a 44 gallon fresh tank 39 gallon gray and 39 gallon black. That is a lot of tank space. And remember, we talked about it on the inside, you have a tank heater pad and a line heater. So when you're traveling, all that water is gonna not freeze in cold weather. Low point drains right next to that, easily accessible right here. And the rest of your connections are a little further back. The furnace vent, Next to that, the freshwater tank fill and the city water connection. There is a spray port out here, and of course that spray hose store is right around it. Gas electric six gallon DSI water heater. Your 30 amp shore power cord goes right here. Above that, if there is a cable connection at the park you're staying at, easy connection just above it. And if you would like an additional portable solar panel, or if you don't have the off-grid package and you would simply like to add a solar panel, this is a very easy way. Just plug it in right here and it's gonna be charging your batteries. All right, let's look at the back of the trailer. At the top, it is pre-wired for a backup camera. So it's very simple for your dealer to add that. You'll also notice there is a hitch down below with a 175 pound weight limit. The best part, even more storage outside, right here. This is over two feet deep and really a wide space. I can't imagine needing more storage space outside. 
This trailer has so many great features. The walk around bed, the great styling on the inside, tons of storage everywhere. Check it out. Intac has this wonderful OVR line. It might be the trailer you're looking for. I'm PJ from Princess Craft in Round Rock, Texas. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.